Welcome back, blade lovers. This old sword is with you once again. I like to say that. It makes me feel good. I don't like The Tonight Show with Johnny Carson, <laughs> except it's The Tonight Show. Shall we start calling it that? The Tonight Show. Could become a thing. All right. Well, without yammering about around a bit more, anymore, what have you, I'm back with Sencut, Sencut Knives, a budget line of Civivi, which is a budget line of Wii. So double budget, about $45. Uh, this one came from Amazon by way of the influence of a good friend of mine, Bob DeMarco, the knife junkie. That's right. He showed one on his channel and I told myself I wouldn't be getting any more Sencuts or maybe even Civivis, but... Yeah, it caught my eye. I like the shape. It's kind of a classic worn cliff, if you will. Some might call it a sheep's foot. Straight edge, rounded back, comes down to create a very defined point. Good for cutting, precision, precision cutting. And uh, we've got a little bit of a go forward finger choil there. And it's a button lock. With my Carta handle scales, this one in a green g10 a g10 green micarta you know why i am messed up is this the second time i'm doing the video because my mic battery went on me the first time so redo <laughs> uh it's no good without the voice in the description some may argue all right we've got a deep carry clip that uh, rides on the surface and is transferable and whose screws are flush, which is a very nice thing. They're not the button head screws. We got a little bit of a stick to the button lock here as we have on many button lock knives, especially of the more budgety variety. I have only one on the table today that has no lock stick. And by lock stick, I mean that you can hear a little click. I don't know if you could hear that. At the very beginning of the press, you feel it stick right there before it goes in. Uh, other than that, it does not prevent you from closing the knife. And it is pretty much free of any lock rock or blade play. Very solid knife. Um, steel on this guy is a very pedestrian D2. It's interesting because there's some other button locks by Sencut that are being done in 9CR18 MOV, I think. Or is that, I may be thinking of Artisan and CJRB, but D2 on this guy. Nice scales, um, comfortable, nice jimping, very grippy, and a nice spot for your thumb there, a nice little dip. This is good uh, maybe for the middle finger if you're choking up like that. It'll hold most of your finger, but... I wouldn't get overconfident or too frisky with it. Um, it's a lightweight, and as you can see, plenty of weight relieving inside on both sides. So we are going to measure it up real quick and then do a compare with some other button locks. Eight inches overall. And like a 3.6... Yeah, maybe like a 355, something like that. Blade length and like a three and a quarter cutting edge because of the choil. Millimeters. Blade stock, 2.8. In inches. 0.11. Handle width, 0.52. Pretty slim. And I think it's going to be pretty light. Here we go. 3.4 ounces. Not bad. And actually works out to about an ounce per inch. Maybe a little over that. No, about an ounce per inch. Three and a half-ish, right? Nice swing action. 
you can open and close it. Let's back out a little. Got room to play here. Yep. And she drops nicely. It's on bearings. We've got um, pretty much with this, what you're getting is uh, you've got an, you've got a stop pin down in there. Okay. So it's catching it with that hook of the blade on the tang right on that pin. And there is your plunge lock. Get everything to focus a little bit. Light's a little bright. So the Wataga, if I didn't mention the name, but it is in the title, the Wataga is one more Sen cut knife named after a city in Texas. How about that? The so Wataga means See, many years prior to settlers, Cherokee Indians first settled in Watauga, meaning village of many springs. They were in search of the bountiful game, fertile fields, and clear spring waters. And um, previous knife I reviewed that I'm going to show you in a minute is the Saxe, spelled S-A-C-H-S-E, pronounced Saxe, like sexy, I don't know is a city in Texas that is a suburb of Dallas, eastern suburb of Dallas. So interesting. And then we got Waxahachi, which is a fixed blade by Senkut. So lots of American Indian, Native American names in Texas. Okay, so let's bring out the Saxe which I reviewed previously, this one being in a um, natural JG10, easy to writ dye if you don't like that color, the easiest to writ dye because it has really no coloration of its own. That's the natural color of the G10. This one's a nice drop point with a satin finish. And what do they do this one in? Is it also D2? Can't even tell. Oh, it's coming in. Boy, is that faint. Yeah, it's 9CR18 MOV. Okay. Which is nice because it doesn't have a finish on it. Why they went to D2 on this one is beyond me. More and more Chinese knife manufacturers are doing D2 all over again. Not that it's a bad steel. It's just that we've got stainless steels out there that hold an edge quite nicely now. This is the Kaiser Assassin XL. And it's not even really XL, but they call it the XL. Must be a small assassin I'm not aware of. One of those miniature ninja guys that creeps around. Um, that's a little bit bigger. And then we have the Big Lighter 2 button lock from Kaiser. One of my favorites. And no button lock stick. No lock stick on this guy. Zero. Kaiser's able to do a pretty good button lock. And this one's coming in at 154 CM. I believe this was a White Mountain exclusive with this handle color and maybe with a 154. Beautiful jimping on these Kaisers. Real long run of jimping, especially on the big lighters. So there you have four button locks of pretty much the same size. So let's close that guy up. Let's leave him out. A lot of stick on that Saxy. Haven't really used it much. And um, some stick on that big lighter, not big lighter, on the Assassin. Too many names, too many budget knives. Very light though, ounce per inch. Pretty good, pretty good. Feels lighter than 3.4. It really does. Um, pretty featherweight. I don't think that's going to be something you feel in your pocket very easily at all, especially at about a half an inch. 
But that little bit of lock stick, you know, lube it up a little bit, break it in, use it. Sometimes it goes away. Oh, while we're at it, one more compare. Griptilian. For those that know the Griptilian, it's about a quarter inch longer overall. And why not? We're at one. And the rat one's a good three quarters to an inch longer with the blade about a half inch longer. The Wataga by Senkut, named from a city in Texas. Nice ergonomic handle, comfortable, could make a nice EDC. Could be a good all-round knife. Let me know what you think. Don't forget to give this video a like and subscribe if you haven't already. I'll be back with you soon.